Do you want to learn how to repair boats? Watch in this video how my wife learned how to trim my hair. Pongámosle esta para comenzar a ver. Igual y prueba aquí a ver un poquito. Ay, 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 Pues claro. ¿Mucho? Pues sí. A ver, Ay, Dios mío. Es algo como mucho. A ver. ¿Será? Dios mío. Ay. Pero no hay más. Y juego. No, pero te Well, in my defense, I, I, I said, try a little here, but as always, she didn't listen to me. Yes. It's not a big thing, but uh, the lawyer agrees with me. Now, I'm going to talk a little about so something that concerns me, and is that... Um, here in Texas the business are opening again but the laws were minimal I think and uh, one problem that I noticed is that most of the small businesses have a door usually a handle that is uh, metallic and according to the studies the virus can stay in a metal for three days so I park in front of a restaurant, uh, one of my favorites, and I saw that the people just touch that, and some people is like, oh, but still a lot of people is touching those door handles. So I think that we have to do something with that. Maybe the government has to put a rule about that. The businesses has to change the doors or find a, something to to make that the people stay more uh, secure and well maybe something that uh, you can help me guys is to bring me some ideas I know all in the uh, sailboats uh, area are very creative and I think we have to to find a way to improve to those doors so the businesses bring more security to the customers in the other hand, we as customer, we are going to choose who take care of us. So if one business has a electric door, for example, we are going to prefer that business. So maybe we can put some pressure and maybe the businesses can take advantage of that and, and, and have a differential. Let's go back to sailing or sailboats. Somebody asked me, hey David, I don't have any experience sailing, fixing anything. Should I do the same? Look for a, a damaged boat, a kind of expensive a, and repair it myself. Uh, and uh, I would say that, uh, that no. Usually, uh, there is a lot of risk involved. So, the way to lower the risk is to learn a little before. So, I would say that maybe I would recommend to follow my steps because it's what I know that uh, kind of worked. And uh, maybe there are several paths to do the same, but what I did was start 
with uh, really small sailboats like this. This is a laser too, and I love it uh, because this is for two. Uh, maybe this is for one. No, maybe this is for two. But um, it's really nice. Uh, you are the balance in the boat, so a lot of times you have to go to the water and flip it over and uh, a lot of people get scared with that but for me it was really really fun uh, it's a, a small boat so it's very easy to store and cheap to store here is the boat it's easy to move to the water so it's, it's, it's very easy to start with and uh, if you have a problem or you damage something it, it usually doesn't cost a lot especially if that thing is old I think I bought one of those for $800 uh, with a little damage and I fixed it and I think it was really or maybe 600 but but that was kind of a lot of money for me because I really wanted this boat but I bought it one before uh, there was a sunfish or something like that uh, and I paid $200 for that without the trailer. Um, here, let me see. Here is, for example, how it works. And I really love this boat because the trapeze. As you can see here, you make the balance here and you can go with two people and this is really, really fun. And for two people, it's good uh, for any age, but if if when I was at the end using it I was kind of all for that boat because this is for two people so use it just for one is difficult and uh, I, I used to do that with my son but when my son moved to to his college I had to do that only by myself and it's, it's kind of, of hard but it's really exciting really I love that boat it's, for me it was the funniest like I mean as an in, in individual object just for that just for sailing was really fun and teaches a lot because any mistake you pay it so you you have to be connected with the boat all the time and uh, you have to uh, feel the wind you you can't uh, depend on electronics or something like that you have to do everything by yourself uh, after that, and if you get a little old, like me, um, there are a lot of options, and was that I did, uh, was moving to a real sailboat. Uh, it was a McGregor 26S. This is a really interesting boat according to my research is the biggest boat that you can have in a storage and you can launch by, by yourself i used to sail by myself a lot so i needed something very light and very easy to launch and it's really nice because you can tow it with uh, small bands or small trucks and um, and it's easy it's really easy to tow i i used to drive at the same speed of the other cars in the highways when i went to pensacola or to corpus christi or other places that i visited and uh, i used to camp in rv parks the first night and the last night and the other nights uh, in in the marinas or anchor uh, this uh, is very light because the bottom it doesn't have a keel that weights a lot what it has is a water ballast so when you enter to the lake you open the valve and the water a lot of water enters to the boat that water is the weight that balance the boat so when the wind tries to lean the boat the weight of the water ballast keeps the boat in place. The boat has a, a lot of a space inside for a small family. Uh, it has a small bathroom, a small kitchen, a small everything. I used to work there. Uh, the bed in the back, I think it's 
two twins really uh, the space for or the they use is very good we used to say four but maybe six is is okay and it has a very small engine that is more than enough i think it's eight horsepower uh, so it's, it's a really good option because with that option you can uh, you you don't have to depend a lot on the weather if uh, it rains a lot you can stay at home and when the weather is good you just launch the boat and and have fun you can uh, go wherever you want for example i was thinking about going to los cabos or to to bahamas there is another option the mcgregor 26 m and x those boats have a very big engine so they are really really fun uh, uh, also they can pull a person in the lake but they are not totally sailboats they are a mix and this is really interesting and is really good for some kind of people but some other people hate them in my opinion is a little slow sailing well this week i'm going to clean a little more my boat i'm going to test it in the lake just to check that everything is fine maybe i'm going to sail a couple of days and then i'm going to give my boat to the new owner you want me to film something special about the boat please let me know just put your comment and after that so i think in a couple of weeks i'll be in mississippi again uh, improving and sailing again i was thinking about going to bahamas for this summer that was the goal but the uh, bahamas is still close and i think it will be very difficult this year uh, i'm not very sure what i'm going to do uh, maybe i'm going to sail around north florida maybe if everything goes well maybe try to go south florida if bahamas border open i will try to go to bahamas but uh, i think that will be difficult so i don't know sailor says i will go with the wind and maybe it's something that i have to do but if you want to help me with suggestion what to do or do you want to check something that I did, please let me know. I'll keep filming some videos and telling you a little more about uh, the catamaran. Thank you.